What is it really like to get the COVID vaccine? We went right to those in the know to follow their experiences from the moments they got the shot through the first few days after getting them. What kind of side effects did they feel? Did they even have any side effects? Channel 3's Wendell Edwards found three volunteers willing to share their experiences. We found our volunteers in line. All right, you're all set. You can pull up. At the Pratt & Whitney drive through vaccination clinic at Rensselaer Field in Hartford, here they were giving the first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. We met Cecil Reed first. He rode shotgun to this clinic and then rolled up his sleeve for his shot. The day after his 79th birthday. So this is a good birthday gift for you, right? And how are you feeling right now? So far, I'm all right so far. We asked if he would send us a video diary for the next three days. We wanted to know how he would feel after that first dose. The most common side effect from this vaccine might be a little bit of a sore arm. 83 year old Peter Brunone agreed to. He told us he was skeptical about getting the shot in the first place, but yet willing. 79 year old Judy Longy rounded out our trio of volunteers. Any reactions that you're expecting? No. Okay. No, I know that some people do have reactions. The question now, would any of these three? We wanted to know what are the most common reactions? you will experience some arm soreness and that can be either immediate to some pain at the injection site and that pain and soreness can last several days. On top of that, Dr. Mazo said some could experience redness or itching at the shot area. For our volunteers, they would soon tell us. The next day was Saturday and we heard from all three. The day after I received my vaccine, um, I had no um, serious after effects. Uh, last night I kind of woke up a little bit dizzy and tired. Cecil said he didn't have any soreness at all. His wife Kathleen offered even more insight. And it doesn't have any side effect so far. So far, yeah. Uh -huh. And how do you feel? All right. I FaceTimed Judy that same day. So Judy, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling fine. My shot uh, sight uh, became a little sore the first day after um, I had the shot, and which has gone away now. By Sunday, Cecil was outside giving us his update. It looks like you're coming back from your walk, Cecil. Yes. How are you feeling? All right. How'd you sleep last night? All right. Peter sent his from his kitchen. The side effects were, were not not noticeable. Just want to let you know that uh, today, this morning, I woke up full of energy. On the final day of their video diaries, we talked to all three again, Cecil, Judy, and Peter. And we learned from Judy, she had an EpiPen, just in case. But you never had to use your EpiPen? I've never had to use it, no. Okay, and no more soreness? No more soreness, no, I'm fine. In fact, none of our volunteers had any severe reaction. This is the third day after I got my vaccine. And uh, as far as I can tell, I have no side effects. I'm doing pretty well for an 83 year old. How about any pain? No pain, no. None at all, any time? No, no. Dizziness? No, I'm all right. Yeah. And doctors say those are the most common results they're seeing. The takeaway here, the shot is not just safe, but effective safe, very effective. You know, we're talking about 95% effective. A fact our three volunteers affirmed for now. A message all health experts want everyone else to know. In Hartford, Wendell Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.